Welcome back to another episode of Imminent Christmas Advent Calendar. Today is day 19, we're just one day away from the big 2-0 and just uh, six days away from the big one. So, let's get into it. So, if you do remember yesterday, I messed up and lost the coin somewhere uh, in the sort of the guts of this uh, of this calendar. Hopefully today's thing though will not disappear, or maybe it will, who knows. Uh, oh, it feels like a fun pack. All right then, uh, close that up, put that there. What fun pack will it be? Yeah, it's Fusion Strike. Very cool. Um, one of the ones I'm most excited to open actually, because, uh, as I've mentioned several times, Fusion Strike I barely opened anything of. So I'm always happy to open more cards than this because it's a huge set, and even the fun pack is likely to have cards I might not have seen before. This is proving more difficult to open than... Oh, oh dear, hang on. There you go, nice. Right, put that to the side. And let's begin. Ah, I've definitely not seen that clamp bill. That clamp bill is very cute. Next up is Mopeko. I think I've pulled that one. But again, more peckers, very cute. And our rare is a reverse clay doll. Kind of cool. I, I, I like clay doll. Um, I'm never against having reverse hollows as well. Right, I'll put that to the side and we'll get to the box. All right, let's get into it. So, we're getting pretty low on cards now. Our first pack is a robot carnival one. I think we've only got one more of these left now, um, I want to say, because I think this is the fourth one. So they, they've lasted a decent while, um, and this is going to take extra long, of course, because they're all stuck together as well. Okay, so this is definitely from Franken Gear, Franken's Gears, because that is, that is essentially Dr. Frankenstein. Uh, I think, yeah, this is one of 12. Fantastic. So... This is a shot from the view of the Frankenstein monster, I think. Uh, this is definitely Nightmare, or um, Redneck and Chicken Man, as it is called in Japanese. Let's see, that is Nightmare. It is number 9 of 12. Ah, cool. oh, nice. And you've got, like, illustrations of how the robots essentially work. Um, this might be Deprive, or it might be uh, the Angel one. Yeah, it's Deprive. There you go, 5 of 15. That's the girl that the uh, hero of Deprive is fighting to free. Next up, um, again, maybe Deprive? It is, yeah, there we go. We've got 13 of 15, so that's our protagonist from the back. He looks very 80s pr uh, protagonist, basically. That is Starlight Angel, I think, maybe. That looks like it's... Uh... Oh, oh, that's from opening. Ah, right, okay. So, as I mentioned before, Robot Carnival is also like a massive tank thing with the, it's in the shape of the, you know, letters Robot Carnival and it opens up to reveal lots of creatures and robots like this that go on to um, destroy villages and kill everyone. Haha. <laughs> That's Deprive, right? That's the, the main guy from Deprive. Hang on a second. Oh, right. We've pulled a hollow. I don't know... Um, and I think this is probably like the corner. So if you pull all the hollows, I guess it makes Robot Carnival. That is definitely the guy from Deprive, though. Um, he looks a bit like Amuro from uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. But yeah, wow, dude, we've pulled a hollow. That's cool. I don't know if these are like particularly rare or whatever, but very cool. That's a heck of a pull. So that is um, the outline of Robot Carnival. You can kind of see the letters, sort of. So this is from opening, right? Or ending? Yeah, opening. Ah, oh, so that's two of three. Fantastic. And I, th I want to say we've pulled one of three, so I think I've got all of opening. We've seen this card three different times. Oh, this is Franken's Gears. Uh, this, I want to say, is Starlight Angel, right? Hang on. No, that is from Presents. 11 of 12. Um, I guess that's the younger version of the guy that creates the robot, maybe. 
And that is maybe Starlight Angel, that's when... Yeah, Starlight Angel, that's when the robot turns into the guy. Spoilers, but this is, you know, a 30-year-old film. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you've seen Robot Carnival, let me know in the comments below. Uh, it is well worth a watch. It is all on YouTube as well, which is very nice. Uh, it's not in, like, super, super high quality, but, I mean, it's an 80s anime. It kind of, you know, lends to the aesthetic, really. And, oh, our last one is a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack again. All right, let's see. So, uh, oh, no, it was that way. I was wrong. Okay. Let's begin with Parry Knights. Ah, oh, that's cool. They're, uh, they're knights that parry things, I guess. We have Super Heavy Samurai Big Waraji. Very cool. We've got a White Princess. Ah, oh, isn't she cute? Look at her. I mean, yeah, she's dead, but still. Uh, we've got Diamond Duston. Very, that's, I, 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 I like that uh, thing. We've got Cypher Bit, very cool. We've got Crystron Prasiotl, all right, cool. It's like, it looks a bit like Torterra from Pokemon, but with like Shenron from Dragon Ball coming out of its butt. Uh, we've got Fusion Fright Waltz, very cool. This is a score, the Melodious Diva. We've got, we've pulled quite a few Melodious Divas now. I don't know if it's a good archetype. I've never heard of them before this, so probably not. Mischief of the Gnomes. Ha ha ha, those mischievous gnomes. Hey, and our rare is Lumina, Light Swarm Summoner. Dude, that's really cool. She's like an elf. Well, I don't know. She's not an elf, sorry. She is a Light Swarm Summoner, obviously. I know that Light Swarm are big on, like, life boosting and stuff like that. Well, we've had some pretty good pulls today, especially the Hollow from Robot Carnival. Uh, hang on, let me get it. There you go. That's cool. That's a nice pull from the 90s. Definitely going to... And you're putting all of these into a binder, of course. But that is a heck of a pull. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I will, of course, be doing another episode tomorrow for the 20th. So stay tuned for that. And until then, goodbye.